today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey, this is MC Barber. In this video, I'm doing an undercut with a faint hard line and a pushback. So my first step here is to section the hair where I want to separate the top from the sides. It is very important that you select, that you place the line at the right spot. I usually like to start it right from the receding corner of the hairline, right back to the crown. And uh, you have to do the same thing on the other side, it has to be symmetrical. Um, it's preferable to be symmetrical, depends really on the hairstyle. And as usually, I use one and a half to start my fade. I remove the bulk and I create a foundation for my style. Depends on the shape of the head. Sometimes you don't have to, you, you don't go all the way up to the hairline, just up to the section. Uh, and other times you do. All depends on the shape of the head. If the head is uh, rounding, uh, you want to leave the hair slightly longer. Now to start my fade, I'm going to use my edges. They are zero gap, so I'm starting pretty short. First I shape up his hairline, and then I start my fade there. I'm going to leave here slightly longer toward the hairline so I can fade slightly sideways and leave the hair slightly longer so my uh, shape of hairline will be seen better. Now I'm working on my uh, fading here. I'm using my clippers with an open blade. My, uh, So first step was there, I, I used my fading clipper or with open blade and then I close them halfway and I work on that line as you can see and keep closing my blade until the line is totally removed. Now I'm going to actually start fading from up down. I'm using one eighth of an inch now, so my first, my very first step was bulk removal with one and a half. Now I'm using one with an open blade, and I'm slowly working on that line. Now I'm down to one sixteen of an inch. The way I fade, starting with one and a half and then one and one sixteen of an inch and no guard. I found I found that that is the, the fastest way to fade. Since I book myself every 20 minutes, I only have about 17 minutes for each haircut uh, between the consultation and, uh, you know, uh, cashing out the client. You really don't have more than 15 to 17 minutes for a haircut, so you have to be very efficient with your time. So that's why I chose to master the technique of one and a half for all my fades and then uh, go from there. So there is a lot of free handing, but it really saves a lot, a lot of time and you definitely get a, a high quality of fades and haircuts in general. 
and I have proved that at the uh, competitions over and over. Uh, in fading, I have won over at least 10 competitions. So now we straight edge to shape up the headline. I like to make the hard parts very thin. I don't like to make them make them very thick. Now to connect the top with the sides, I'm going to do sculpting, techni sculpting technique with a straight edge razor. When you do this technique, it is very important to keep your uh, angle at which your blade is placed, whether it's 15 angle or 45 or 75 or 90 it has to stay very consistent so that you ensure that you are cutting the same amount of hair at all times throughout the whole strand of hair and you also take sections not too thick you take sections just as you would for cutting with the scissors the sections I take are approximately quarter of an inch or half an inch the, the wider, the most wide. In this year, I take section, I start texturing the hair, texturizing the hair from about two inches away from uh, the skull, and then I remove the length towards the end. The front, I usually do not texturize. I leave it all the same length. I don't like to have any short hairs on the front. To blow dry the hair, we start from the back as usually. We take about one inch sections. We set the roots and then we just polish the rest of the hair. Keep in mind we do not elevate the hair until we come we don't we don't start creating the volume until we come almost towards the front. Once you are right above the ear area, straight up, you start elevating and then uh, towards the front you create more and more volume. Right, to set the hair in place, I use some Moroccan oil. And there it is. Thanks for watching my video. MCBarber.com is my website. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I will have uh, videos coming on all my uh, techniques on uh, scissor, clipper, razor. They will be soon available on my website. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hey, this is MC Barber. Thanks for watching my video. 
If you like my video, please subscribe. Even if you didn't like my video, subscribe. Anyway, I have many more coming. MCBarber.com is my website. Until next time, work hard, stay positive, and take care of yourself.